Welcome. This is my video going over to the practice problem for derivative one lesson. Pre-calculus, of course. All right, here we go. Differentiate the function. In other words, find the derivative function and determine where in the domain the local extreme occur. So here we go. F prime of x. Using the power rule, so bring the 2 down here. So this is 2 times x to the 1 less power, which is the first. And then we bring the 1 down here. So 1 times 1 is positive 1 times x to the 1 less power, which is x to the 0. And x to the 0 essentially is 1. So 1 times that 1 is that 1. So there we go. There's the derivative. Bam. Okay. So then it says determine where the local extrema occur. The extrema occur where the derivative is equal to 0. So we take the derivative of function, 2x plus 1, and we set it equal to 0 and then solve. So we add negative 1 to both sides, divide by 2, bam, x equals negative 1 half. So that satisfies the instructions. Now, the next most obvious question would be, well, what kind of extrema is it? Is it a local maximum or local minimum? Or it could be a plateau, which is not even an ex extreme. And so we do that by sign analysis. So we're going to graph this guy. So 2x plus 1 looks like this. It's a line with a slope of 2. And the root is negative 1 half. And so what do you notice about this guy? Well, this function to the left of negative 1 half, because that's the root, that's the x-axis, so that means, hey, it's negative to the left of the root. The function's positive to the right. So think of a parabola. We got two because the because the original graph is a parabola. There's two ways it could open downwards or it could open upwards. Well, think of the uh, tangent line. So here, if we do the tangent line, that's a positive slope, positive slope, zero at the top, negative slope, negative slope. So the slope, the derivative, is positive on the left, 0 at the local extreme, which is the local maximum, and negative on the right. So if you could see this uh, on video, it'd be I'm just tracing my pen across the function, my pen being the uh, slope of the tangent line. I'd call this Miller's stupid pen test. So basically, hey, if it's positive on the left, negative on the right, I'm tracing out a local maximum. Notice here. The slope's negative, negative, zero, negative, or positive, more positive, yes. So what's going on is we're uh, negative slope on the left, positive slope on the right. That's what's going on here. So the fact that it's negative on the left, positive on the right for the derivative function, which tells me the slope of the tangent line at every point on the original function, says this is a local minimum. Miller's stupid pen test at its best. Okay, and then to verify, just to verify, right, because I already actually know, and so do the original function, x squared plus x. If I go to factor that bad boy, that's x times x plus 1, which means the zeros are 0 and negative 1. So we have to the left is negative 1, then 0. It's positive x squared, so the end behaviors are positive infinity on both ends. It looks like this. So guess where, because it's a parabola, guess where the vertex is? Halfway between the roots. Halfway between negative 1 and 0 is negative 1 half. Bam. And then, of course, you plug negative 1 half in. Negative 1 half. And then negative 1 half plus 1 is positive 1 half. So we multiply those, we get negative 1 fourth. So, yeah, this verifies what I saw there. Bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. Calculus is cool. This guy right here, f of x equals the cube root of x. Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make it look like a polynomial. It's not a polynomial function, but I'm going to put it in exponential form. So this is x to the one-third power. And then we do the power rule to take the derivative. So the derivative of f is equal to uh, one-third times the coefficient 1, so that's one-third, times x to the 1 less power. Well, 1 minus one-third is um, negative two-thirds. 
I'm sorry, one third minus one. I had that dyslexic moment. One third minus one is negative two thirds. And then I put this in a form that's more easy for me to work with. So this is one over three times x to the positive two thirds power because the negative on the exponent says reciprocal position. And then x to the two thirds power is really the cube root of x squared. So this is one over three times the third root of x squared. There's the derivative function. Okay, then we're going to find the local extrema. And that's where this guy equals zero. And the answer is it doesn't equal zero. So you're going to say local extrema, none. So there's the derivative function. And there's where the local extrema occur. There is not a one of them. And then take that cube root function. Notice the cube root function looks like this. Point of symmetry is the origin. It's like, hey, where's the local max and local min? Well, they're nowhere. This is kind of like half a parabola here. It keeps expanding up, but it never gets horizontal. And this guy down here, same thing. It keeps expanding downwards and never gets horizontal. So there is no maximum or minimum. Bam. Okay. Well, that pretty much concludes this explanation of those practice problems. Have fun doing the rest of them. Bye.